Hello everyone. Welcome back to Manual Tutorials. Today we will be seeing another signals and systems uh, example. This is related to even and odd components which was asked by one of our students in the comment section. If you also have any doubt related to signals and systems or any other topic in electronics and telecommunication engineering or computer science engineering, you can mention them in the comment section of any of our videos and we will try to upload a video explaining that. Also, if you have not subscribed to Manual Tutorials yet, do subscribe and do like this video and share it with your friends who are in need. Let's start. So, this is an exponential kind of signal which is uh, taken as the input signal. So, y of t is equal to e raised to j 2 pi t is the uh, signal for which you have to find out the odd and even components. Now this can also be written as cos 2 pi t plus j sin 2 pi t and solved uh, in the further steps as usual as we do the even and odd signals. But it will be easier for this if we keep it the signal as it is. So we have done that. For even signal, even component you know that this uh, formula is e raised to j 2 pi t plus e raised to minus j 2 pi t by 2 which is the uh, way you will be able to find out what is the even part. Similarly, for the odd part, it will be e raised to j 2 pi t minus e raised to minus j 2 pi t by 2. Now, we know that cos theta is equal to e raised to j theta plus e raised to minus j theta by 2 and sin theta is equal to e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta by 2j. This is the trigonometric and exponential relation. So, this is what we are going to use to solve this kind of problem easily. Now, we have already seen that the even part of the signal is e raised to j 2 pi t plus e raised to minus j 2 pi t by 2 because it is y of t plus y of minus t by 2. So, we have just substituted minus t in place of plus t and if you use this formula in relation to the formula that we saw before this, this is equivalent to cos 2 pi t because theta in this place is 2 pi t. So, we have just substituted in place of theta, we have substituted 2 pi t and we have got the resultant even part of the signal which is cos of 2 pi t. Similarly, what we will be doing for the even part is e raised to j 2 pi t minus e raised to minus j 2 pi t by 2. And here, if you just multiply the numerator and denominator by j, what you get is j multiplied by e raised to j 2 pi t minus e raised to minus j 2 pi t by 2j, which is equivalent to sin 2 pi t because here theta is 2 pi t and it is equivalent to the formula that we saw for sin theta. So, we from this we conclude that the odd component of y of t is j sin 2 pi t because we have multiplied the uh, odd component by j to get this sin formula or sin as the resultant signal. Hope you understood this. If you have any doubts related to this video or any other video or any other concept in signals and systems or any other subject in electronics engineering or computer science engineering, you can mention them in the comments of our videos and we will try to upload a video explaining it. Also, if you have not subscribed to Emmanuel Tutorials yet, do subscribe and like and share these videos with your friends who are in need. Thank you for watching.